Hi, Dr. Starziak here again. And I feel like I just haven't put enough emphasis on how awesome this short pulsed NDAG laser is. So while I explain it to you, I'm, I'm gonna demonstrate on myself because that's my style. You know, if this is your first time watching my channel, that's just what I like to do. Uh, now, generally when I'm treating a patient, I would be using a chiller. Uh, the chiller's a little loud though, and it's gonna mess with the sound. And it's really not bad enough to require a chiller. I'm not numbed. I have no numbing on, nothing on my skin. Um, this is tolerable without it, but you add the chiller, you add numbing. This is so incredibly easy. So one of the biggest differences between this and radio frequency uh, microneedling is you don't see anything, right? No mark, nothing on the surface. So I can go through and I feel it strongly. It feels like a quick pulse of heat that is, it's intense. It's bearable, but it's intense. I couldn't really do this very fast. I couldn't have the frequency up higher and without using the chiller or with the numbing. And then you'll see just a little bit of redness that comes in about you know a few seconds after it and it'll last for maybe 30 minutes uh, maybe an hour tops and since we're not having to go down through the skin with something mechanical we dramatically uh, reduce downtime we turn it to nothing basically there I mean I could go out immediately after this and if I've covered my whole face all you're gonna just see is a very slight amount of redness Right, and it's gonna go away so quick. So what is this laser doing? This laser is working by the law of resonance. So the law of resonance is, the easiest way to understand it is if you think about in those cartoons where you'd see an opera singer break a glass with her voice, where she's singing and she hits the right frequency, the glass will resonate with it. And if she gets the frequency pure enough and the strength of uh, the volume of her voice loud enough, then it's going to cause the glass to, to shatter. So that's because the frequency resonates with the structure of the glass. Now, this is a frequency of light that is 1,064 nanometers. That's the wavelength of this light. And that wavelength resonates with blood. So it's skipping the epidermis, which does not have blood in it. And it's resonating with the dermis because that's the first place where blood appears. And it's creating islands of thermal damage in the dermis. So these little blood vessels get really heated and it gets heated uh, for a very short period of time. So we don't actually have a burn, but we have some damage that stimulates the release of growth factors and collagen remodeling. And that's how we get tightening. Now, if you go on PubMed and you look up uh, radio frequency microneedling compared to short pulsed NDAG treatments, what you'll see is that the effects are comparable. So this is pretty cool. It is, you know, the discomfort it depends on which radio frequency microneedling device you're using, how it delivers its energy. Um, but the discomfort is not worse than radio frequency microneedling. You don't get this sort of electric shock that causes the muscles to spasm uh, with this, that you do get with radio frequency microneedling. So that's definitely advantage of this. But the pure sort of sensation of a little bit of heat is actually, it's pretty comparable. So but with numbing, extremely, extremely tolerable. And the other big uh, benefit is there is absolutely no downtime. You know, some of the newer radio frequency mic microneedling devices, they have very little downtime, but this has none. An added benefit, uh, especially for women, is that this same energy is going to get rid of hair. So if we're going along and treating under the nose or treating along the chin line, if there's any hair there, it's the same wavelength and the same energy that we use to 
kill hair follicles with this sort of laser. But for men, well, that means if they want to keep their beard, we're not going to go along the chin line. What we can do instead there is we can lengthen the pulse of the laser. So we can do a long pulse then diag and do gentle heating. And instead of causing thermal damage, we cause this really gentle but effective thermal stimulus just by heating the skin up to 42 degrees Celsius. And that's going to feel kind of like a warm cup of tea. Uh, this goes much hotter, but it just lasts for 1.6 milliseconds. It's an extremely fast pulse, and so it's gone. And you can see, you know, I've, I've covered, you know, my forehead there, and uh, you, can't, you can't see any marks. So it's pretty cool. Let me, I'm tipping my glasses so I can get close under my eyes. And this is a nine millimeter. So nine millimeter is gonna give us even more of heat, even more discomfort than if I switch down to a four millimeter. And I have it on 30 joules per centimeter squared. My pulse duration is 1.6 uh, microseconds. And I'm using a very slow frequency because I'm unnumbed. And um, you know, it's, it's, it's enough heat to cause thermal damage in the skin. So there is a little bit of discomfort that goes along with it. So anybody who's used to laser treatments, there you have my stats of, of what I'm doing. Something that's really cool for guys with this is you know how some people are real serious about getting a nice clean line you know, certain barber shops, people go to them because they can get this like really crisp, clear line. Well, we can make that line permanent. We can use this laser to get rid of, you know, his hair starts to grow up onto the, the cheek. Or, you know, if you want to just have a permanent line here or around the back of the neck. So it's, it's really a, a dynamic laser. Pretty awesome. We're going to get some reduction in pore size too. Cool, so I think you get a good sense of the short pulse ND ag now. If I was treating a patient, you know, I would make sure I got every single spot and I would go over everything twice. But for this video, I think you get a good enough sense. Now I wanna switch it over to the long pulsed so you can get a sense of that too. So this one is so cool because you take away downtime and you take away all the discomfort. The discomfort with this is, it, to me, it actually feels good. Like, there is no discomfort at all. Um, this is my favorite one because of that. Now, what it does require is a little bit more time. So in avoiding discomfort and in avoiding downtime, we do need to spend more time during the treatment. So to get our maximal effect with this, we need to maintain the skin temperature at 42 degrees for 30 minutes. That's maximal effect. So if we're gonna cover the full face, you know, we can do sections, right? We can do, go between the two sides of the cheek and cover that. We can cover uh, around the mouth and the chin and then we can cover the, the forehead. And each of those, if we wanted to get our maximal effect, we do 30 minutes. So that would be an hour and a half treatment. Or we break it up where we do, okay, today we're gonna do 10 minutes. And then you're gonna come back in a week, you're gonna do 10 minutes on each region. And so then it just takes 30 minutes to cover the whole face. So it's really up to what someone wants to do. Um, but we absolutely can just do it all one day and someone's here for someone's here for a while. Now, I do want to give a shout out to my peeps at Photona. They produce some awesome technology. This is a great handpiece. They call it the L Runner. It also turns into the uh, S11. 
It's got a cool uh, sighting lasers on it, so it's going to show me the grid of where I'm treating. Uh, it's pretty bright in here, so you may not you may not be able to see it all that well. Let's see, but you'll see it when it's firing. So this, so you can see, is let me turn it there. Okay, yeah, you see that light firing along. And I can follow the temperature here on my device. I'm at 40 degrees. And once I hit 42, boom, I hit 42, I switch over, I do the other cheek. And now my cheek just feels like really pleasantly warm. And this isn't going to damage my hair. This could actually help increase beard growth. It's not going to be as effective as if I used my Erbium YAG laser but still it will, it will help. There, hit 42. So this treatment, I would just keep going back and forth between these two sides. All I'm gonna get is temporary redness of the cheeks. That's actually gonna be like a nice glow. Um, it's gonna look like I kind of finished a workout and my face is a little flushed. So this is something that's very easy to do on one's lunch break. And the principle of this gentle thermal heating has been very well established. It's used by a lot of different technologies, but most people are just using radio frequency for this, and they're using a topical device. And so that topical device is operator dependent to get the, maintain the right sort of heat. One of the great perks about this is, all right, it's gonna, it's gonna create a perfectly symmetrical heat distribution by me just simply holding the device. Look like this, there we go. All right, so I can, or I can kind of start over here. It's not gonna hurt the hair. So it doesn't matter if we hit it a bit. I can even do this directly on my scalp. All right, I just wait till I hit 42 degrees. Okay, and then I switch it over. And I can get this other side. You see there's a little red light here that'll turn on when I hit 42 degrees, so it's pretty convenient. And just to show that it's you know safe to do on your on your hair. Alright. You know, this it's better to have the hair shorter if you're gonna try to tighten through the scalp with this, because it will, um, it, the hair will catch some of the energy. So as the hair catches the energy, you're gonna get uh, more heat and you want the heat to be happening, you know, at the, at the scalp. You don't want the heat to be happening at, at the tip of long hair. So with this, it heats up a lot faster because the, the follicles have pigment in them. So they're gonna, you know, grab a lot of the heat and distribute it there. So as you can see, you know, I could go out right now. No one's gonna, no one's gonna ask me any questions. No one's gonna wonder about, um, you know, what I just did. I'm gonna do here too. There we go. It feels kind of cool on the beard because you get like a feeling of kind of like a vibration when it's the energy's being absorbed by the follicles. This same energy at a different pulse duration has actually been shown to be able to reverse hypothyroidism, autoimmune hypothyroidism, in 50% of patients who are in the, um, the trial. So there you go, that'd be an example of you know, if we did that for longer, uh, how you could do a full no downtime facial treatment. Now, we could add on other stuff to that. You know, we could very easily, at the end, do a light peel. And well, now we're pretty close to the Photona 4D. The 4D, we also go inside the mouth and we create tightening from the inside of the mouth. So we have tightening from putting energy in from outside, but we can also do it from the inside. That mode I just used on my face 
if instead of stopping at 42 degrees, I heated up the fat to 43 degrees, well, then we could start to get sculpting. So we can use a chiller when we have uh, deeper fat pockets. When we have more superficial fat pockets, I can just heat to 43 degrees because the heat's being generated in the dermis, the temperature is being sensed at the epidermis, so the heat is going to be dissipating down into the fat as well, and it will tend to congest in the fat some. So if we're getting 43 or 44 at the surface, we know we're going to be getting 43, 44 down in the fat, and we'll start to see fat reduction in that area. So instead of doing like a surgical buccal fat removal, we can go in and just call, cause fat cell death and contour this whole area along the jaw. So it's just, it's such a cool technology. I feel like it hasn't been given the appropriate attention in pop culture. Really right now, radio frequency microneedling is just getting so much attention. But you gotta know about the 1064 neodymium YAG laser. So now you know, and knowing's half the battle. Thank you very much. Hope you like this video. Be sure to subscribe, hit that like button, check out my other videos too.